everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to create system A.io contact or Elementor form submission. So, I am a business owner and I am collecting my customers' data with the help of form submission. I have created a form with the help of Elementor and I want that every time a new form submission is done in my Elementor, automatically a contact should be created in my system A.io with the help of the data of the form submission. For that, we need to create an automation between Elementor and System A.io with the help of Pabli Connect. In Pabli Connect, to start an automation process, we need trigger and actions. In this process, my trigger application is going to be Elementor and my action application is going to be System A.io. If you want to learn how to do this automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to create system A.io contact on Elementor form submission. So I want that every time a form submission is done with the help of Elementor form, automatically a contact should be created in my system A.io. For that, we have to create an automation between system A.io and Elementor form with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. If you are a new user, you can sign in for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. Then you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which there are the five functions of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now. Then on a new tab, you can see the Pabli Connects dashboard. To start an automation process, we need to create a workflow. For that, we are going to choose the top right corner button over here, that is Create Workflow. Then a new dialog box is going to appear in front of you, which is asking for a workflow name. So I am going to give a name to my workflow, System A.io Contact on Elementor Form Submission. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. If you want, you can name your workflow anything that you require. After that, it is asking for us to select a folder. On the left side of my screen, you can see I have created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. So I'm going to click over here on the drop down. As you can see, these are the folders that I've created in my Pabli Connect account, from which I'm going to select histamine.io automations folder as I want to save this workflow in this folder. After selecting the folder and giving a name to our workflow, we are going to click on create to create the workflow. A workflow is created in the name of system A.io contact on Elementor form submission and there are two windows in front of you. One says trigger, another says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here, trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but various action steps. So we are going to set up our trigger step first. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here. Firstly, it is asking for us to choose our trigger application. In the introduction, I've already told you that a trigger application is going to be Elementor. So I'm going to select Elementor. After selecting our trigger application, it is asking for us to choose our trigger event. And our trigger event is going to be new form submission. So this means that every time a new form submission will be done with the help of Elementor, automatically and instantly, Pabli Connect is going to capture the response. After that, you can see Pabli Connect has provided us with a webhook URL. With the help of this webhook URL, we are going to connect Elementor with Pabli Connect. You have to follow all these steps given here below to connect our Elementor account with Pabli Connect. So firstly, we are going to connect Elementor with Pabli Connect. For that, we are going to copy this URL from here by clicking on Copy. After that, we are going to open our Elementor account. So now I'm going to open my Elementor account. As you can see, this is my Elementor account and this is the form that I've created with the help of Elementor. And what we have to do is, we have to connect Elementor account with Pabli Connect. For that, you can see on the left side of my screen, it has given form fields. We are going to scroll down and as over here, you can see it says action after summit. So we are going to click right over here. We are going to click on webhooks. As you can see, it is asking for a webhook URL. We are going to paste the unique webhook URL that Pabli Connect has provided us. So I'm going to paste the URL. So as I paste the unique webhook URL, after that we are going to click on update right over here. After clicking on update, we are going to go back. As you can see, this is the main edit page of the form that I've created in the name of contact form. And on the right side of my screen, you can see over here it says update. We are going to click on update. 
as you can see that we have successfully updated after that what we are going to do is we are going to open our Pabli Connect account if you see over here it is saying waiting for a webhook response so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to submit a test submission with the help of the form that I've created with Elementor for that what we are going to do is we are going to click on the link right over here that is given we are going to open it in new tab so as you can see this is the form that I've created with the help of Elementor. So as I'm going to submit this form submission automatically and instantly Public Connect is going to capture the response of this form submission. We are going to fill in all these details that this form is asking for. Firstly for the first name I'm going to write it as demo after that for the last name I'm going to write it as user128 after that for the email I'm going to write it as demo user128 at the rate publicutes.com after that for the mobile number I'm going to write in a dummy mobile number after that it is asking for the street address so I'm going to enter a street address I've written street address as m23 modern city after that for the postal code i'm going to write it as 46 2003 after that for the city i'm going to write it as mumbai after that for the state i'm going to write it as maharashtra after that for the country code i'm going to write it as in after that for the company name i'm going to write it as abc and lastly for the tax number i'm going to write it as a dummy tax number after filling all the details we are going to click on submit to submit this form and then we are going to check whether public connect has captured the response of this form submission or not for that we are going to click on submit as you can see over here it says the submission was successful so now i'm going to open my public connect and i'm going to check whether the response is captured of the form submission in my public connect or not for that i'm going to open my public connect and yes as you can see over here a response is captured in my public connect and it has all the details that we have filled in the form submission so this means that we have successfully connected Elementor with Pabli Connect. After setting up a trigger step, we need to set up our action step. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here. And now it is asking for us to choose our action application. In the introduction, I've already told you that our action application is going to be systema.io. So I'm going to select systema.io. After selecting our action application as systema.io, we need to select our action event. And our action event is going to be create contact. This means that every time a new form submission will be done with the help of Elementor, automatically a contact will be created in our systema.io account with the help of the form submission. After that, we are going to click on connect to connect systema.io with Pabli Connect. Then a new window is going to appear in front of us on which we are going to click on add new connection. But if you have an existing connection, you can choose this option. After that, it is asking for the API key. So this API key will help us to connect systema.io with Pabli Connect. For that, we have to generate an API key with the help of the steps given here below. We have to open our systema.io account. So as you can see, this is my systema.io account. After that, we have to click on this profile button right over here. And then we have to select for settings. Then as you can see, we have selected settings and on the left side of my screen, you can see there are multiple options from which we are going to select public API keys. So as you can see, this is the public API keys. And now we are going to create a new key to connect public connect with systema.io. For that, we have to click on this create button right over here. A new dialog box will appear in front of us, which is asking for an API key name. So I'm going to give a name to my API key as test after giving a name to our api key we are going to click on save to create a api key as you can see over here a key is created we are going to copy this key by clicking right over here and then we are going to paste it right over here after pasting the key we are going to click on save as you can see that we are successfully connected systema.io with Pabli Connect. And after that, it is asking for all these fields and we are going to fill in all the details. Firstly, it is asking for the email address. So what we are going to do is we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we are going to insert the data from our previous trigger step. For that, what we have to do is follow the steps which I'm going to tell you. We have to click right over here. As you can see, this is a response from our previous trigger step that is Elementor new form submission. We are going to click on this arrow right over here. As we want the data for the email address, so I'm going to map the data for the email address. It is right over here. So as we have mapped this data right over here, the data has now become dynamic. 
that means that every time a new response is going to be captured in a trigger step automatically the data over here will be updated in simple words whenever new form submission is going to be done in our elementor automatically the data over here will be updated according to the response captured in our pably connect after that it is asking for the first name so for the first name we are going to map the data again we have to click right over here we have to click on this arrow right over here as you can see this is the previous response data and we want the data for the first name so we are going to map the data for the first name then we have to follow the same steps to map all these data right over here so we are going to map the data for the last name click right over here click over here and as we want the data for the last name we are going to map the data for the last name similarly for the phone number over here click right over here as we want the data for the phone number we are going to map the data for the street address we are going to follow the same steps map the data after that for the postal code we are going to map the data again map it after that for the city we are going to map the data again city after that for the state we are going to map the data again similarly for the country we are going to map the data for the country after that for the company's name we are going to map the data for the company's name and lastly for the tax number we are going to map the data for the tax number before clicking on save and send test request i want to tell you one thing over here it says enter the country code example in for india so we have to enter the country code we cannot enter the full name of the country right over here so it is very important to remember that public connect only will accept the country code right over here and as we have completed mapping all the data all the data right over here has become dynamic that means every time a new response will be captured in a trigger step automatically the data right over here will be updated according to the new response after filling all the details and mapping all the data we are going to click on save and send test request now as you can see right over here the response has come positive so what we are going to do is we are going to check whether in our system a.io a new contact is created or not so i'm going to open my system a.io account as you can see this is my system a.io account and now we are going to refresh the page after refreshing the page as you can see right over here a, a contact is added so for the first name it says demo for the last name as user 128 country as india and all the other details that means we have successfully connected system a.io with elementor with the help of pably connect now for all of you guys i'm going to submit in a new form submission with the help of elementor so that we will check whether a new contact will be created in our system a.io account or not for that we are going to submit in a new form for that i'm going to open my elementor account we are going to click on this link and we are going to open it in new tab as you can see this is the form that i've created with the help of elementor and now i'm going to fill in all these details and i'm going to submit the form so as you can see i've filled all the details firstly for the first name i've written it as test last name as user1234 email as test account 1234 at rate com for the mobile number a dummy mobile number for the address as m123 modern street for the postal code a postal code for the city as new delhi state as delhi for the country code in a company name as xtz and a dummy tax number after filling all the details we are going to click on submit to submit this form as you can see right over here it says your submission was successful so now i'm going to open my system a.io account and i'm going to check whether a new contact is added in my system a.io or not for that i'm going to open my system a.io account as you can see this is my system a.io account now we are going to click on refresh to refresh the page and as you can see over here a new contact is added for the first name it says test last name as user 1234 and all the other details so this means that we have successfully connected elementor with system a.io with the help of pably connect to sum up till now what we have done i wanted that every time a new form submission is done with the help of elementor automatically a contact should be created in my system a.io for that we have created an automation between elementor and system a.io with the help of pably connect in pably connect to start an automation process we need to create a workflow so i have created a workflow in the name of system a.io contact on elementor form submission so this is how we create an automation between elementor and system a.io with the help of pably connect if you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment on below if you have any questions and queries and please share this video
So not just with these applications, you can automate more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask us queries on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any questions regarding the Pabli Connect pricing, you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.